Hi, Dimitri. Hi. How are you doing? Fine. It's a bit late for me. Oh, is so it? What I, time is it? Now? Yeah, it's uh, midnight. So it's a long day for me. Oh. So I, that, that's why it's uh, it's hard for me to join uh, due to the time and it's always uh, midnight. Uh, right. You could try joining the CET calls. Uh, uh, say again? Hard. Does that work for you? The CET time zone calls. Because we have other calls that... Um, oh, you have other calls? Oh. Yeah, I think Ogali conducts the CET based calls. Oh, um, oh. Uh, yeah, we could find out a bit. Um, I don't exactly remember the, uh, the timings yeah. of those calls. It, it but, would be uh, nice to alternate time. So like, I don't know, one day uh, this time, at, at least for me. It's, but, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think that was the point behind starting the uh, CV time zone calls. Uh, but I think we should probably populate that information better. Hey, Daniel. Hey, David. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Good. Let's just give a couple more minutes uh, for other people to join. Sounds good. You in Canada? Yeah, I'm in uh, Vancouver, BC. How is the situation there? It's very good. We've uh, we have we haven't had any deaths in the last five days in our province, which is a pretty big province, and the the general response and attitude of the people in the province to uh, the main doctor, Bonnie Henry, who's sort of advising things. Um, everyone's sort of treating her like a hero and listening very carefully to what it is she's saying. So, uh, so no, we've been we've been really pleased with what the response in BC has been. How about yourself? Yes. How are things there, and where where are you at? Well, I'm in Thailand. Uh, our province has zero cases, so we are quite lucky. Wonderful. Uh, unlike my uh, place, island, where I have my job, which has uh, not been as lucky. Okay. So. I'm, I I ran away when it was still open. <laughs> yeah. But good, good, good to work. It's nice. Nice here. Yeah. Hey, Bianca. Hey there. Hey. All right. Um, I think we can go ahead and get started. Uh, so just as a general uh, announcement, uh, since this came up earlier, uh, this is where the uh, schedules for the daily calls are um, are recorded. So anyone at any point, if you think you can't make these PST calls, you can see if the CET calls work better for you. And you can generally just keep checking this link to see if there's any updates to um, the general call calendar. So I hope that's useful. That's yeah, great. Thank you. All right. Um, moving on to our updates. Um, is anyone on the call aware of any organizational updates that they'd like to share? Um, I'll say from the communications and outreach side that the Gitma workshop planning is going well. We're really excited about how that's going. Um, and that we're just in conversation with, I know, Maya was talking with one set of students in Israel about possibly uh, joining at some point, and I'm now talking with a set of uh, database management students in part of a health management course, um, who there's a, a chance that we might get a whole cohort of them coming on as well. So it's exciting for us to begin to look at what capstone and internships at Corona Y might look like. Uh, and a big piece of that then is just us figuring out um, what would uh, like who might be mentors and how we best plug them into teams to have them having as positive an experience as possible and helping with the projects as much as they can. That sounds amazing. Thanks, Daniel. Do uh, I'm sorry, I don't know too much about um, this whole uh, thing. Uh, do we already have like any institutes that we're going to tie up with in terms of recruiting? 
um, interns and stuff, or is that is that still going to continue to be, um, you know, the volunteer way? Yeah, that's still something that right now we're 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 figuring out any kind of organizational pieces. There, we have one um, company, a recruiting company, that has a couple of people who are on the lookout for us, and that they're they're telling people about us. Um, and oh, nice. then at, at the university where where I'm working, we we may have a couple of volunteers this summer uh, coming from there as well. But but it would be great if we're able to to do a, a full reach out to a bunch of the different universities to to let them know about our our program. And of course, as always, we're, we're happy to have people who want to come over to communications. If there's anyone who is keen to do something, is not sure where their skill set is fitting in, but who wants to be doing something to help organize, we've got lots of stuff mm -hmm. over at communications that needs doing. Thanks, Tanya. Uh, all right. Is, uh, do we have Tyler on the call? I don't think so. No. All right, I'll check it in later. So, uh, so maybe I'll see. Yeah, I mean, I can maybe say something to that. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how much because I've been um, kind of not online a lot in the last week because I was away from all this stuff. Um, but we're working away in the background getting the CRM ready um, so it can be really useful. And uh, we have a call planned later tonight, as it's saying on the update um, thing, to start working on the email, sending the emails via the CRM, which should hopefully be a little bit easier to manage and more reliable than what we are currently doing. So Shannon is getting on board looking into that later on. Um, mm -hmm. And we also now have some people looking into connecting uh, the CRM to the database so we can automatically get new signups into the CRM. So, oh, nice. Yeah, stuff is happening and hopefully very soon we can also uh, record some videos and show some stuff so more people can see how it works and start getting, getting onto it. Looking forward to that. Thank you. Um, all right. Well, let's have you in the call. Um, I think we have anyone from the core teams. Um, but um, does anyone happen to have updates on the search engine discovery engine side of things? If not, we move on. Hello? I don't, I don't think something there is. Ah, okay. I heard something. All right. Uh, I think we have Anton or Slava on the call. Either. We can maybe do a quick check just to see um, of the folks who are on the call, whether there's anything that is either um, exciting for you or that you're interested in that's going on within the work that you're doing that's here, um, or if there's anywhere where you are facing a challenge, if there's anywhere where there's a bottleneck or something that um, would be useful to, to bring up for the group and maybe get some, some other uh, minds on things. Uh, it's a, yeah, you know, definitely. Does this apply to external channels too? Sure. Um, so currently in uh, voice med, I know that's not on the external teams updates it needs to be added, I'll probably do that sometime but uh, in voice med, we're currently trying to do data collection for uh, cough date for cough audio so that we can classify between COVID positive and COVID negative patients. So we mm -hmm. currently need uh, quite a bit of COVID positive data, because we only have about like 20 30 eight seconds samples that are mostly silence. Um, so if there's anyone that can hook us up with some data, that would be nice, or anybody who has hospital connections, et cetera. Um, I wonder if, do you have a little write-up on that? If we had something that was just giving a very short abstract of here's what it is that you're looking for, here's what it is you're working on, um, and what the sort of the expectations would be in terms of what's being delivered, um, that's something that then anyone, anyone from CoronaY could then take that and run with with their connections, and that would be great. 
All right, sounds good. Thank you. Uh, it, once once you have that, do you want to um, maybe post it into general? And if you want to tag me on that, because that's one that I'll definitely pass on to a couple of folks. All right, sounds good. Okay. Great, thanks, Daniel. All right, anyone else who wants to discuss something uh, or just sort of chat about what they've been doing at home and why? Uh, just on the subject of of the hospital connection, I'm I'm uh, helping some big team and they have some connection in principle. I could ask if there is some specific question. So just want to say that. Great. One, one question for you, Vijay. Um, make sure that in, in whatever you write up there, the, the details for the quality level, I mean, both in terms of bit rate, but in terms of if there's any sort of a minimum quality requirements mm -hmm. that you have for those audio files, um, that would be great. great. Yeah, thanks. All right. Okay. Um, anyone else? Any fun thoughts or anything you want to help with? If not, I'll, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I think that's it. I'll uh, I'll mention that. Um, this is just an aside, but it's kind of interesting for me. Um, we're taking some of the unmanagement principles that we're kind of working on here, and mm -hmm. we are beginning in the in the community that I live in, which is about 34 households. There's a little subset mm -hmm. of us that are looking at how we can use a similar bundle of Trello, Slack, Google Docs, the doc, the, the tools that we're using, um, mm -hmm. and that sort of those self-organizing principles to to play and to, to see if there's some ways that we can be using that to encourage more spontaneous interaction and some more, more positivity within the, the group. Uh, and that so far it's, it's, it's meeting with some good, good success. So it's, it's a wildly different application of some of what we're learning how to do here. Uh, but I just thought that it was, it was interesting in terms of our, our infrastructure and processes. Yeah, that's super interesting. That's nice to know. And um, is that, is, uh, how does that work like with Slack's trial period and everything? Uh, well, because it's not free forever. That's right. Yeah. Well, for, for us, we're, we're, we're using just the basics. And so we, we are using just the free Slack and not something that requires anything that's, uh, that's more advanced. Right. Okay. It sounds fun. Maybe we should try that out in our community as well. I think there's a WhatsApp group or something. I'm not too sure. Fun stuff. Thanks, Daniel, for that. All right, then. Thanks, everyone, for your time. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks, Malavika. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.